Hi, Russ here, and uh, yeah, from from sunny Thailand. Very, very cold here at the moment, so got the uh, the old hoodie on. Um, here's a question on Quora: How do I create a documents template which I can change particular text by pointing the document to a list of names to insert? I want to create one single page document, and I have five hundred plus names I want appearing on an individual form. So. Um, I wasn't going to write this out, but I just thought I might as well make a video. So the best thing for something like this, or the easiest thing, is to use Excel as the database, okay? Now, if you've got just a single name, all you'll need is one column, like name or first name or, sorry, name or um, whole name or whatever you want to do. However, if you know their first name, surname, and also even if you have a nickname, if you can do a letter or something like that, you can put in as many columns as you like with all the information in. Um, and Word will pick up off this. Now, I've just put in these in 20 names down here. So you, in the, the full name column, I put 20 names, surname column, I put 20 names, nickname, 20 names. Okay, if you haven't got all of them, no worries, but it's easier if you have, okay? That's the first thing you do. Then what you need to do is you need to save the file. Now, I've done quora underscore mm uh, dot x l s x and I'm going to save this, as you can see here, to my desktop, okay? So, it's already been done. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to open up Microsoft Word. Now, I'm not going to go into the styling or anything like that in the template, but if you if you make the styles correct and everything like that, then it's going to work for you. However, this is just the process, okay? So what we now need to do is we need to click on mailings. And because Word doesn't recognize anything in the document, um, there's not a lot we can do in mailings. Let me just turn show hide characters on, get rid of the nav pane, okay? Go back to mailings. And you can see here, we, we, we have start mail merge, select recipients and things like that, okay? But the rest of this is all disabled because we've got no data to work with. So the first thing we need to do, I mean, you can, you can go through these if you want, but this is the easiest way. Now we're gonna use an existing list. If you wanted, if you didn't have the list set up in Excel, you could type a new existing list, or you can choose from out of contacts, but you've got a list of 500, so we're just gonna use Excel. Like I say, it just keeps it really easy. Um, and Word by default will go to my data sources, okay? But we put ours on the desktop, so I'm just gonna click through to go to the desktop, and then we can see Quora underscore mm.slx. Now I want to open this link, and now what it's gonna do is gonna ask me to select what table the data is on now this is just sheet one this is the first sheet in the workbook okay if there was a list of worksheets it would list them here and we would select the correct one <clears throat> and as you can see here first row of data contains the column headers okay that's what we want so we click on okay and not a lot happens other than we can see along the top here that our other buttons have been enabled and what we want to do is we want to in, again in its simplest form is we want to insert our merge field so you would have your form here you place your cursor and then you click on insert merge field and what it's done here is listed the column headers so if you had a whole list of them it would show all of them here so i want for name i insert merge field then i insert space then i insert surname and i'll leave it as that because if you want to, if you know, if this is just a form, that's what you're going to have. However, if this, this was a letter, you might have dear and then Nona, so you would have dear nickname. So then you would set up your letter, and then you would do dear, and then you would do dear Nona, okay? And that's all we do. Um, and then in the preview results subsection here, if I click on preview results, Okay, what it's going to show is first name, surname, zero, 01, dear nickname, zero, 01. And that's because I'm, if you look here, I'm looking at record number one. Now, remember, there was 20 records in this spreadsheet. Okay, so if I now click to the next record, it's going to go all the way through. It can go to the end or it can go to the beginning like so. Okay, now, if you want to search for recipient and all that, you can do all of that. Check for errors. And you can do that, but that's not the purpose of this video, okay? Now we're going to do finish and merge. Now, you can edit individual documents or print documents or send email messages, whichever one you want, but I'm going to click on print documents, and then it's going to be all. In fact, now I'm going to edit individual documents, and then I'm going to merge all records. We can just do one record or from records to two, and then 
in a new document, this is quite important, okay? This is not the mail merge document. Document one is the mail merge document, which allows me to save this as a template. However, this now created a new document. And if I just zoom out, there you can see we've got our, if I put the nav pane back on and show the pages, we can see, there we go. Okay, now Word hasn't done anything else. It's just on our basic styling. I'll go all the way to the end. And there we go. There's four name 20, surname 20. Okay, dear nickname 20. And there you go. It has, as you can see, the way Word works with section break, it puts in a section break after each merge. So then the way section breaks work is these these sections aren't linked. Okay, you can run a macro to do that, which will take about half a second um, to, to do all of this. However, this is uh, basically what you do. Okay, it's very, very easy to do once you understand the process um, and just follow the steps. Okay.